never know. You never right, know. Uh, hi, folks. This is uh, called You, ne you Never Know. And uh, I'm David Olney. And uh, let's see what's been going on here. Um, <clears throat> the situation is getting serious and rippling through the interwebs and at essentiallypop.com, eventsmagazine.com, artistrack.com, and at musicnews.com. You can watch the video and share it with others at my website and YouTube. And uh, that's, you know, uh, this video for the situation that I did with uh, Arakli and Anana, uh, Arakli Gabriel and Anana K. And uh, they are amazing. And we're, probably, we're going to do some more. Hello! We're going to do some more uh, videos. It's going to be fun. Uh, okay, coming up this week, May Day Run continues with stops in Norwood, Massachusetts. At the extended play sessions, West Dennis, Massachusetts, at O'Shea's Old, uh, Old Inn. New York City at Catherine Bloss's Space House Concerts. And Newton Square, Pennsylvania, f for a debut at Burlap and Bean. Oh, I really recommend the Burlap. <laughs> it's to die for. Gaithersburg, Maryland, at the Arts Barn with a songwriter workshop that afternoon. Later this month and into June, Memphis, Tennessee, Springfield, Missouri, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Pomeroy, Iowa, Sioux City, Iowa, and Fairfield, Iowa, with other shows developing. Uh, some sonnets on wood along with a month of sonnets. Sonnets published book available at the Art and Invention Gallery in East Nashville. Get your original David Only poetry and blah 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 blah. All things David Only online at davidonly.com. Okay. There's that. This uh, is different. This is from my buddy uh, Trudy and uh, Sam. Uh, hi, David. Uh, talking about your sonnets on wood, I found this on my philosopher's calendar. Heidegger said in a brief Uber den Humanismus, language is the cover of a human being, and philosophers and poets are guarding it. What do you think? Is that so? Regards from us, Trudy. Trudy? I don't know. Uh, but it does seem to me that if you have something that you really want to guard, you could probably do better than getting philosophers and poets. You might get uh, some Hell's Angels and uh, some military people. Uh, <clears throat> or at least some philosophical or poetic Hell's Angels. Uh, I don't know. Language is the cover of a human being and philosophers and poets are guarding it. You know, I almost felt more safe before I knew this. But anyway, thank, thanks for sending this in. I've got to think about this some more. And Trudy and Sam are, they're really nice people. They're, they live in Amsterdam. And I feel good that I know people in Amsterdam. Okay, so that's that. A couple of weeks ago, I mentioned Aesop's Fables. Uh, I won't, you know, well, maybe I will. But anyway, I think it might be interesting to know uh, what Aesop was like. What Aesop was by birth, Nathaniel Crouch wrote in 1737, authors don't agree, but that he was of a mean condition and his person deformed to the highest degree is what all affirm. He was flat-nosed, hunchbacked, blubber-lipped, jolt-headed, his body crooked all over big-bellied, badger-legged, and of a swarthy complexion. But the excellency and beauty of his mind, mind made a sufficient, sufficient atonement for the outward appearance of his person. <clears throat> That's a, the quote. And then they, the thing goes on. 
Add that he stuttered terribly, quite a handicap for a philosophic raconteur, and Aesop becomes a man delightful to discover on the page, no matter the quality of his mind. So uh, Aesop was uh, a piece of work. Okay, just a real short one. This is, yeah, you probably know this. A dog made his bed in a manger and kept the horses from eating their food by snarling and growling at them. See what a miserable cur that dog is, said one of the horses. Even though he himself can't eat the hay, he won't allow anyone else to eat who can. And the moral is, we should not deprive others of their blessings simply because we cannot enjoy them ourselves. <clears throat> well, isn't that something? Uh, that's that. Okay. This is a list of 250 communists working in the State Department, Mr. Chairman. No, that was uh, uh, trying to channel Joseph McCarthy. This is, a, I'm going to fill this book up with haikus. Here's one of them. Uh, okay, let me get one. I want to meet God. Is that so damn much to ask? So cries the Blue Jay. Okay, so let's play something. This is another cover.
tell that it sculpted well those passions red, which yet remain stamped upon these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. On the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my work, she mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. <laughs> okay, She's Not There by the Zombies, uh, Ozymandias by Shelley, what's his name, Bish Shelley, I forget his first name, anyway, uh, that's that, um, you know, it's what, it is what it is, as they say, and it's uh, fun to do, and uh, I don't know, I'm not going to get arrested or anything. Uh, so that's what's going on. I'm out on the road. Hope you're doing okay, and uh, I'll see you uh, when I see you. Okay. She's not there.